Hello again, I am Blunty, and today I'm going to send an iPhone app called Slowpro through the old Blunty review ringer machine to see what gets spat out at the other end. Now, while its interface looks much like any one of countless other camera apps, Slowpro snatched my attention because it's the first iPhone camera app to offer the nifty little trick of getting the phone to record video at 60 frames per second. And for those of the non-camera nerdy persuasion out there, the reason 60p video is so useful is because you can force the file to play back at a standard frame rate of 24, 25 or 30 frames per second, which gives you a beautifully smooth slow motion effect. I'm not exactly sure how these guys managed it or why no one has managed it before them because it is a pretty highly valued feature in many dedicated cameras. But I can tell you there is a bit of a trade-off in forcing the iPhone to suck in twice as many pictures per second as it was designed to accommodate. And that is, instead of the surprisingly good 1080p the iPhone 4S does normally, slow bro, only sucks in 720p. Well, I say only, but 720p is still pretty damn useful, especially if your end point is the web, which it most likely will be, or you'd not be shooting on an iPhone in the first place, would you? Would you? So, as far as compromises go, having to step down to 720p is actually quite survivable. Unfortunately, dropping the resolution down does introduce one particularly ugly and undesirable artifact into your image, and that's aliasing, also called jaggies or stair-stepping. And it's best pointed out in a side-by-side -side comparison between the regular 1080p 30 frames per second footage from the stock camera app. As you can see, high contrast lines like the fence there and the road markings here start looking strikingly similar to a video game from the mid-90s. But once you're aware of it, you can start picking your shots a bit more carefully to minimize the eye rape artifacting a bit. The app also has some basic editing tools built in. You can trim the start and end of your video clip as you may expect, but you can also select which areas of the clip will play back in real time or which ones in slow motion. You can even select several such points in the clip to jump between speeds, fast, slow, fast, slow. So you've got just enough power to make it useful for preparing a clip for immediate upload somewhere. But here's another catch. While the app is free and there are some upload options, there's an in-app purchase necessary to <coughs> unlock the ability to save the raw 60 frames per second video clip to make it available in iTunes and therefore exportable to your normal video editing program of choice. The upgrade is only $2, but on a personal level, I hate in-app purchases that only unlock features that are already sitting there in the friggin' code to begin with, but whatever. It's an essential feature as far as I'm concerned, and it is only 2 bucks, so it's a no-brainer. You can trigger recording start with the volume plus button, as you can with many other camera apps these days, but the volume minus button also has a nifty trick of letting you select your slow motion parts on the fly. And these points aren't hard coded into the video, they're just sort of markers telling the app where to start playing back normal and slow speed, so you can later adjust them and fine tune them in the editor. All in all, it's a very clever little app. It's got a clean, efficient interface. It does what it says it does on the box. It's stable, it's cheap, and you get a much cleaner result doing slow motion in camera than you do trying to use frame blending or other software plug-in trickery to fake it later on from normal footage. And while most current dedicated cameras with 60p functionality will easily outperform it on image quality for those times when all you have is your iPhone or you need to get in a tight space somewhere, etc., it's always nice to have yet another powerful tool in your arsenal of iPhone video apps and more power and flexibility for using in creative endeavors is never an unwelcome thing as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for watching. I'm Blunty and I'll catch you next time.